Hi guys, Alessandra here and in this video you will see me analyzing a replay from someone who purchased my coaching services. Let's jump in. <coughs> hey Michelle, hi, hi, hi. I think I spoke about this in one of my YouTube videos, but I genuinely believe like if you guys want to go five somewhere, you need to like smoke and like place a deep ward. Like if you want to fight here, you can place on this. If you want <coughs> to take a fight here, you can place it here in the middle. <coughs> I really like this ward. If you want to fight here, you can press, you can put here the ward or here. And if, and then if you're like radiant, you can place wards in the same areas here. Or here <clears throat> even here if you're dire even this one is good but I, I like the cliffs and like the mid the mid word I, I like them a lot also another 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 words that I like are these ones to here but whatever <clears throat> let me let me watch your laning stage sh 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 shooting that crop nice did I ah, see you can't deny because you started with the bad with the bad item build <laughs> like she has uh she has more stats than you <coughs> also, the animation of that prophet's attack is really garbage. It was al always garbage, but yeah, she has a better animation on Quap. She has better attack speed. <coughs> And that's why you were forced to push this way because you can't take CS. You take CS with carry or with with nuke. And you push wave into her. She's getting these scripts for free. <clears throat> if you started with the item build that I suggested to you with like a bunch of the circlets, actually no. You know how I would start this lane? I would start the lane with iron branches. Tango and I would get one mantle of intelligence and like I would get fairy fire I'll try and demo here to see exactly what's that what's what's the damage, but <clears throat> A really important mechanic that helped me at least was that you can win the first waves if you have like a ton sheet of stats of what class you are like if you are strength you go with gauntlets of strength and Then I don't know let's let's say you're a night stalker you go with gauntlets of strength and and then you can get Wraith Bands if you feel like you're hit it, you're getting hit like way too much and you can really, you know, lift the paw if you like get any CS. You go a Wraith Band. If you want to gank, you go Urn. <clears throat> if you're like super useless. If you want to gank, also you can go like Bottle on like Stalker and then you go the normal build. You go with Echo Shaper, but yeah. Why do you have... Bro, you have a magic wand NFT in your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Make him cry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It doesn't matter if you if you eat it from panic. But yeah, that's why he's having 17, 18 CS and like. Uh... Anyways, the uh, laning stage is this decided because like it is what it is. Like you started with the wrong item build. Let me see what happens further. Yeah, she's gonna gank because she's a cop and she has bottle and she has like mobility and she's gonna get all of the runes. You can't do shit about that. Only ask your support to like come to help you with the runes. <clears throat> or you can you can counter her rotation <laughs> if you have how. If you don't have how, you have to farm. What are you trying to do? Don't no 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 don't tell them no. You can't help them anymore, no. You don't even have TP, you have a ring of Basilius. So how are you gonna help them? And no points in silence. Fuck them, let them die, it is what it is. You tell them, miss, if they are retards, they are retards. Nothing you can do about it. Uh, where is your quelling blade, bro? <clears throat> where is the quelling blade, though? Oh, now you're bringing it. It's okay. Never mind, it's not okay anymore. Why? What the fuck is this, bro? Just charge, charge away, charge stop. Hello, charge stop, charge stop, charge stop. You can still charge stop. Oh my god, this guy. That was so stupid, bro. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was that. <clears throat> you could have charged stop, and that's like space, you know? Like, you make four heroes come here. Like, the whole point of, of, of like, Bara is 
And not only Vara, most of the heroes, right? You make four heroes to be here, they are not fucking farming, they are just, you know, taking each other's hands and holding into them. Like, it's it's nice if you just fucking use charge here and you're like farming mid on DP, like not trying to help him. The rune. You guys are never taking the runes. I don't know. But if I were you, I would definitely go either uh, right, either left. I don't give a shit about the fucking wave. I, I kill it later. But like, having the chance of this co-op, because like nobody was there. Like you saw all of the supports, like everyone was showing. Like everyone, like these guys were top and these other two guys were bottom. So you could have tried to like, I don't know, maybe you had luck. I, d I usually don't have luck. I usually go the other way. <laughs> I go top and the rune is fucking bottom or the other way around, but yeah. <clears throat> Okay, okay, never mind. Double kill. He got a double kill and then you guys stayed here. With no supports. That's not great. And <laughs> they fortify. <coughs> You're going too deep. Way too deep. You have no supports. <laughs> it might be only me, but your farming really is low. <laughs> <laughs> And considering this this draft that they have, I would have bought a cloak if I was in your place because you're taking a lot of fucking magic damage. And like just a casual cloak, this is one of the tricks that I picked up from Monkeys Forever, but he sometimes does this as well. Or when he's playing offlane on like the range course, he just goes cloak on range or visage or DP. If he feels like he's getting way too much magical damage. And like you're gonna have a lot of fucking magic damage. Like this cop won't do shit until she has axe. Pretty much. Like they need to focus you a lot. With the level uh, 10 talent from the, life, from the left. And like that uh, magic cloak. You're not really gonna die. Also you can just. You can also get like an infused raindrop. Just so you don't die in lion's shit. Oh my god, this lion has a fucking axe, yeah. You're not gonna be able to do damage, that's the thing. Like, that's the whole point of going Bell of this card. Like, you, you like to go this, usually against melee guys who, like, hit you and... <coughs> they can't really hit you back because you're doing 1 million damage to them. Well, it's not really the case, it's only Sven. Like, your hero is really good against Sven, but Sven is gonna farm. So... You need to make your way through it. And you're completing Shivas. I think that was also like a serious mistake. Your supports are not building pipe for you and they're not building lotus for you. I think I'll get like either cloak, either glimmer. Like it depends how I feel. If I feel that I'm getting way too pressure, like everyone is just hitting spells on me, then let them be. Let them hit spells on me. And like I have no save in my team. I'll get glimmer and like they're gonna do zero damage. But it's still okay for you guys. Like you are getting a lot of farm. But then you dived. So yeah, so you did here. This this move on Bara was really bad. It makes no sense. If your support is retarded, let him be retarded. And then you, you made this here. Like you just moved from here to here. And then they killed you. It's really important, like your position. It's 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 one of the things that can make difference in most of cases. And now here. Like you don't need to do this on DP. You are under farmed anyways. Like you are one, two, three, four. The fourth. How the fuck are you the fourth in network? Are these people also not hitting creeps? What the fuck? <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty dumb. The dives are pretty dumb. To be honest, in this in this time here when you guys respawn, you could have went Roche. You could have done Roche. Like this guy doesn't have Orchid. Ain't no way they can contest it. Only with an orchid. But you did the rush. Let's see what else did you guys do. <clears throat> okay, Bara is dying like a retard. And then this guy is dying like a retard top. And then the other guy is dying like a retard mid or somewhere. And then Bara is dying again. And then you press all for no reason. <clears throat> And then the game makes zero sense. Instead of like dying one by one on the map, you guys can just do Roche, like literally. Like this guy completed his orchid, let me see when. Cause like they were bottom, they were, they were, they were playing, look at them. They're, they're fucking three idiots holding hands in the jungle, jerking off the fucking shard golems. Like you can just do Roche. When it was top, 100%. Cause like they're just st stacking, look at this, look at them, look at them, what the fuck is this? This is so fucking bad. Like nobody's hitting graves. 
And it's working. Yeah, 21 minutes in. You could have done Rosh in this interval. Between 16 minutes and 20 minutes you can do Rosh. With Morphling. You can definitely do Rosh with your Exorcism. Instead of like pressing it for no reason bottom after your Vara died. Yeah, and then they like just win by default because you guys are not making moves and because you have no timings. Like Morphling is going for Morphling has a timing, but it's like a really, really bad right. Like he he was playing against Lion. I don't know. And then you try to kill this guy, but it's too late because they are so strong. They have so much farm. <laughs> They have so much fun because your teammates are feeding and like uh, you have no timings. Yeah, it makes no sense. You know when this makes sense? If you have Roche. If you have Aegis, then this makes a bit of sense. But like this is really bad. It's it's game losing, literally. Like it, it's just better. Like, you know, I hate AFK farming. I always say it. I hate AFK farming, but it's better to AFK farm than go here. <clears throat> The only only situation I see like just going from straight, I mean, is like having Roche. Otherwise, let's say you have like a stinky ward, you have like a, a ward here or here or here, and you see the dazzle, and you just like kill him instantly, and then you see the nature's prophet as well, and you see the and you kill nature's prophet fast as well with I don't know Bara Sand King something like that. Then yeah, it's good. Even Dazzle and Lion, if you see these two guys, but Dazzle is the most important because Dazzle can save anyone. Then yeah, you can go, you can push, no problem. If this guy dies in two seconds and he doesn't have buyback and they don't have a way of like team fighting and they don't have Black Hole, they have whatever, Chrono, you know. And yeah, it's good, go, go for it. <laughs> Otherwise it's bad. And now the whole game is fucked. So there's nothing much to do, to be honest. You just you just doomed yourselves. If you FK farm actually in this game instead of like going on lanes and dying, you might win the game. Because your heroes are scaling better than their heroes in my opinion. Like Dazzle is not really meta, then he's kinda trash here right now. Lion nothing uh, Lion is not an offlane guys. And Quap Quap is the only good hero. And like Nature's Prophet is also good, but it support Nature's Prophet, so Okay, okay. <clears throat> You killed that guy, but who cares, yeah. She didn't even go for eggs, man. This guy is insane. No, you could have win the video game here. <clears throat> here. Here, after like this, this, what happens here. Like, this guy is, this guy is actually, is actually charging good. Like, if you, if you guys connect to this guy, to fucking Quap. And Quap dies, let's say. Because she can die. She's not a tanky, she has 1k HP and like only 8 magic stick charges. But like, he cancel, he cancel charge because nobody's connecting there. But if you if you guys kill this guy, can just go Roche. And then game is much easier. Because there's not not, not a lot of difference between you and them. Like they have 2k fucking network advantage. You can you can make use. You you have you still have time to like redeem your mistakes and like build good items and do good team fights. But I genuinely, genuinely believe if you guys kill Quap here, you win the game. Of course, if you don't throw after that. Because you can throw, and then, like, they, they win the game. <clears throat> That's what it takes for her to, like, uh, lose uh, the video game. And then, like, uh, you're just gonna kill this guy or what? Okay, I see. Like, what I'm trying to do here is a review. You know, I'm trying to say my, my thoughts out loud about this video game. <clears throat> It's pretty much don't rotate on somebody else if you are not gonna if you or your team are not gonna get more out of that. Like you can TP. I'll I'll show you like a real example. I'll show you a real example for point number number three of of one of my games. It's it's a it's a video on YouTube that I remember right now. It's really easy to to give it as an example. First of all, I picked my hero because I saw everything besides Sniper. I saw everything, every single damn of their heroes besides Sniper. I saw Legion Commander, I saw Grimstroke, I saw Primal Beast, and I was like this. 
Because Primal was super strong back then. I was exactly like this. Oh my god, this motherfucker is gonna use Inkswell before it was nerfed. The shard was nerfed, you know, with the with the HP on creeps. This motherfucker is gonna use uh, Inkswell on Primal Beast and then he's gonna go on my teammates and they are dead. Or he's gonna use Inkswell on, on Legion Commander. But yeah, uh, Odi is a pretty, pretty fucking greedy hero. <clears throat> But I, I see this guy, I always tell my teammates, guys, he's there, he's coming for your asses. I'm not coming because I'm farming Meteor Hammer, I'm not coming, like I'm telling them. And then, like, I see, see this. Like, I'm still, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to go because I want to farm my Meteor Hammer. But I see that they are diving this triant, like, I see he's coming here. And, like, I understand that he's gonna go even further. Otherwise, I would not TP. Like, I, if I would see him going in here, if I would see him going in on, on the top, I would not go. I, I would let this Trian fucking die. I don't give, I don't give a shit about Trian. I'm, I, I'm gonna win the game, not Trian. Uh, just support me, bitch, you know? Something like that. But I see that he's coming. His Primal Beast has a Primal Brain. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna punish you for that. Like, it was two inches that made you die. Two fucking inches. Two fucking, actually, that's too much. But yeah, two, two fucking centimeters that made you fucking die here. <clears throat> and it's actually better because I'm not losing. I'm losing like only one wave of creeps in this whole in this whole time. And I got what? I got half level. Something like that. Uh, anyways, it's like split it between me and Ursa, but it's like half level on two of us. And it's 164 gold and he dies on primal, which was the main problem in their in their draft. Primal. Primal was insane. Insane hero. If Primal has like free game, then there's nothing we can fucking do. Like he's gonna go eggs and fucking go on Ursa and Bristleback and GG. And then he did another another uh, another mistake. <clears throat> I will show you wait. But yeah, that's the only rotation that I'm pretty much doing. And the rest I am just staying here. I'm just staying and farming. I'm not even I'm not even glinching. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit, I see this carrot mage, I'm like, guys, this is carrot mage here, and then he's like, bottom, I don't know if I'm going there, again, like, I'm, I'm looking, see, like, I'm looking at him, I'm like, oh, okay, ah, fuck, he went top, what can you do, like, this, this was, this was bad, but wait, wait, it's not bad anymore, ah, hello, Mr. Scarlet mage, you want to give me a kill, <laughs> actually, this was not planned, but, like, this retard just walked at me, <clears throat> So yeah, it's uh, I, I get bored then if I, I, I was stay mid. And then I stay mid, I hit creeps, I'm like, oh, oh. And then I'm going on him, and then I'm like, oh, they want to kill me, guys. I, they want to go on me mid. And then like, bam, 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 bitches. And like this guy, this Primal Beast guy is like really fucking good. Like you, you can win games in two ways with that Prophet. You either like go super, super damage and you go like Road of Atos and you go Ags and you go Shivas and they can't do shit to you, like they can't punish you in any way. Or you go with the tanky, the tanky item build and you make them use a lot of spells on you and then you just clean up. Or like you use Spirit Siphon on them and then you use Yulion yourself and then like when you're coming back, uh, back down your full HP and you silence them and they're fucking dead. Okay. So here, I, let me let me give you the full path. So like we 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 took Tormentor, <clears throat> and then like I saw this Enigma. This Enigma was the enemy offlaner, and he didn't have Blink Dagger. He didn't have any kind of item to mitigate my damage, and I just went on him like a fucking crazy bitch I am because I had a Glimmer Cape and Lotus Orb, and I know they can't kill me because Puck is dead. Otherwise, I would have not made this play. If Puck is, is, is alive, then like this is really fucking bad. I can die in any second because Puck was the, the, the hero in their team that was doing the most damage. This guy is also doing damage, but not that much. So like I, I use my Lotus, I use the, uh, the Glimmer Cape. I juke this guy's stun or like he didn't stun me, whatever you, you can call it, whatever you want. And then like I silence both of them. And then <clears throat> he, they can't fucking kill me. Like my hero is way too fucking thank you for them. I'm 1.8k HP. 1.8k fucking HP guys. Wait, I fucking moved my cursor. On a fucking position 5 death prophet. It's like a 5 death prophet. Like, keep in mind, it's a 5 death prophet. It's position 5 death prophet. And then I have shield too. Because like that guy is giving me shield and shit. And like they all die. Like, I, I that's how I want MMR. Or as I said, like I, I just go, I just go build like this. 
I have like a super good lane. I fucking stomp that guy. He can't do shit to me. And I just go with this item build. Something like this. And instead of this, I go like this. I go super fucking crazy. And he can't do shit. And I just attack them and they fucking die. Einstein for the win! Thank you so much for the raid! I hope your stream was good. Uite, Luciane, vrei banana? Vrei banana? Uite cum vine banana, Luciane! Spread your anus, Luciane! Uh. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button Subscribe and leave me a comment Also, if you want to watch me live, you can do that on Twitch Until next time